Hey everybody, how's it going? I have been asked this question numerous amounts of times and I'm excited because it's not fragrance related, right? So the question is how to make yourself more attractive. Now, to me, the first thing that comes to my mind is confidence, but let me just tell you from the jump, if you are somebody that hears the word attractive and the first thing that comes to your mind is looks or money, I highly recommend you change your mindset as soon as possible. Because I'm telling you right now, with all the women I know in real life and all the women that are subscribed to me on YouTube, that follow me on TikTok and Instagram, whenever this conversation arises, looks or money are never the first things. Never. Sure, they might be on the list, but they're so much farther down. Same with men in relationships. Whenever this topic is brought up, they don't say looks or money as the first thing. In fact, the common answer with that demographic is a positive attitude and that I completely agree with. The only people that say looks or money when they hear attractive are single dudes as the first thing that they say, right? And how do I know that? Well, first of all, this also comes from my personal experience with talking with them, but even on the internet, they tell me that they're single. And the thing is, they don't even have to tell me because I know they're not talking to women in real life because if they were, then they would know that those two things are not as high of value as women think that they think women think they are. You know what I mean? So that just screams to me that they only talk with other single dudes. All right. Now, the reason I say confidence is because that bleeds into everything you do and how you do it. As simple as having a conversation and being confident, that is something that draws people in. You know, it radiates off of you. Whether you're trying something new for the first time, you're not worried about being bad at it, sucking at it, or people making fun of you. You're doing it because you believe in yourself, you wanna try it, and even if you suck, it's okay. And that goes hand in hand with the positive attitude, right? Of trying things to try them, right? Um, another thing that is really attractive are hobbies. Hobbies go crazy, all right? Just like um, poetry writing, writing, reading, playing an instrument, sports, what have you. If you are somebody that dedicates your free time to like, you know, doing something that is fun for you, but it also can, that improves you in other ways is really attractive. For example, my girlfriend is doing this thing with coding right now. And there's a lot of technical terminologies that she talks to me about whenever we talk about this topic. And the thing is, if it wasn't, if I was just hearing about coding in general, it would bore me out of my mind. But whenever it's her, it's just super sexy because like you see the passion in her eyes, you see her eyes light up and she's just geeking out over all these little things that I don't know what they mean, but just seeing her enthusiasm and seeing her really give a shit about something um, that is just so, I don't know, it's, like there's no like monetary reward of it. You know what I mean? She's doing it because she wants to do it like because it's, it's a hobby, right? And don't get me wrong, there are hobbies that monetize, but that's besides the point. That is super attractive. So hobbies, huge. A third thing is kind of what I mentioned just a second ago is caring, giving a shit. There are so many people out there that regardless of the conversation, whether it's controversial or not, and I understand if it's a controversial conversation, you might not want to speak your opinion, right? But people that always say, I don't know, are so like, for me, I don't like being around them because it's like, there's no, I don't know, there's no passion, there's no fire, right? Versus the people that care. Like, to me, it's hot when people give a shit about stuff, how they're like, no, I don't see it that way. For me, this is what I think, blah, blah, blah. And you just see how like revved up that they get about it. Giving a shit is hot. It's re it's sexy, right? So for me, I love that. Caring and all that. And also kind of shows that like you stand your ground, you hold your own. Whenever I hear people that tech that always usually answer, I don't know, it's very kind of like like kind of spineless to me. And it's just like I get bored of that very, very easily. Another thing is focus, which is kind of what I touch on with the hobbies of like, you know, being focused and driven and motivated to do other things that 
add to your character and add layers to you as an individual. But when you're focused, I guess, let me use a universal example that I'm sure a lot of us have experienced where we've been in group settings with people and somebody's ha like telling a story and something happens outside of that group, whether it's in someone's peripheral vision or somebody just interrupts somebody's on their phone and is like, oh my God, did you hear about this? You know what I mean? And all of a sudden the conversation switches and that person that was originally talking starts to shut down. Whenever I am in those situations, my focus is never pulled from the person that is talking. It doesn't matter if people are trying to change it. I will keep having that conversation with that person, whether I have to go up to them or even if we're continuing from across the table, I'm going to do it because first of all, it's rude to just turn your focus away. Like after one slight distraction, you know, we're not two year olds anymore. We can listen to a person that's talking. Right. But Another thing is, yeah, it shows that focus, it shows that you care, and it shows that you're interested. And that is a very attractive quality in a person, somebody that isn't moved by little, um, by little distractions. You know what I'm saying? Like when they're set on something, they are go they're going to listen to you, right? And for me, I've actually had people tell me like in real life after those moments, like maybe like weeks later, this happened a lot in high school and in college, how they're like, you know what I love about you is that, remember that one time at so-and-so's party or at, like when we went out that night and like you still listen to me and they're like nobody like nobody else listens to me except you and like the, the, just hearing stuff like that is very sweet right but it stays in people's minds like people don't forget things like that right so for me staying focused being present is very attractive as well and those are kind of like the the main ones for me actually so I said confidence positive attitude always okay and let me just say that just to touch on positive attitude real quick there are a lot of Debbie Downers out there that have self-deprecating type of attitudes like when they're talking it's just constantly like oh yeah nobody wants to talk to me about this or nobody invites me here nobody wants to do this with me nobody texts me that blah 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 and it's like it's different if you're saying that in a one-on-one -on -one sort of conversation where you pull someone to the side. Like if someone pulled me to the side and was like, hey, can I talk to you? It's just, I've been feeling really down about this. Sure. But if you're in a group setting and you're constantly just like, oh yeah, because I don't get that. Nobody does that for me. And you're like looking for the sympathy card. For me, I never fall into that trap. I just, I'm just kind of, because I, I read through that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just not something I want to be around of somebody that is constantly just being down on themselves time and time again. And the thing is, there are people that can help with that, right? But doing it in a way to get attention is so unattractive. Again, I'm going to highlight doing it to get attention is very, very unattractive to me. But yeah, having a positive attitude about things, whether it's trying things for the first time, or even if things kind of look a bit dreary a little bit but still having that optimism is something that's very attractive um because like to me that's that's what I like to do I like to surround myself with optimism but still with reality right um but yeah having that is just it, it all those things that I mentioned are very very sexy to me and in general like these are things that people have told me in real life when they've talked to me um, the things that I see in other people that are very, very attractive traits. I don't think any of these are controversial by any means. I think that all of them are just like, like understood, right? But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate the love and support. And if you want more videos like this, I'm so down to make them because I like talking about other topics too. And then seeing um, all you guys' uh, comments in the comment section. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.